Turns out that in Italy, they make not only powerful sports cars, but also powerful bicycles. This electric bike called the Blade was created completely from scratch and is equipped with a powerful engine that allows you to do burnouts, that is, to spin your vehicle's wheels while staying in place. Thanks to the unique frame, lighting, plenty of chrome and aerography, the vehicle looks more like a slimmed-down motorcycle than a bicycle. Like other motorcycles, Blade can be ridden by two people. The leather Cisco saddle and electronic gear shift system will provide a comfortable ride. The pedals are also unusual. They're handmade and shaped like the logo of Root Cycles Workshop. That's where this custom project was created. The wheels also give it a touch of style, 29 inches in the front and 26 inches in the rear. Here is the work of an inventor from Australia. Why modify the wheels when you can simply replace them with basketballs? The system works as follows. The balls are fixed in special holders equipped with four rollers. The rear holder has a small wheel that rotates and spins the ball when you pedal. According to the maker, the bike is much more maneuverable than regular models, so the plan is to create a version 2.0. In addition, with this bike, you and your friends will never get bored. After all, the balls can be used to play basketball, and some people in the comments already suggest creating a new model with bowling balls. After seeing this bike, many viewers will remember the Stance Trike, a three-wheeled vehicle with a characteristic rear wheel arrangement and low ground clearance, which we showed you not long ago. Today, we look at the Stance Bike. It is similar, but it has two wheels. The bike was created in the UK, and its distinctive feature is a unique suspension that allows you to raise and lower the rear wheel. Thanks to this, the bike reminds us of classic lowriders, but without any sparks. The suspension travel is enough to take the wheel off the ground, thanks to which the bike, along with the rider, beautifully lays down and stands up, and the stylish paintwork makes the bike even better. Why not make transparent bikes? On the screen you can see the invention of a specialist from Hong Kong. By combining patience, desire, and skills, he was able to make even the chain transparent. Truth be told, assembly took him some time. We're not sure how functional it is. However, the author honestly pointed out that he wanted to show people an idea, so this bike can be seen as a beautiful piece of modern art, especially since a working transparent bike can already be seen on the roads of the United States. Let's take a look at the American workshop Haydar Metal Design. Its owner makes custom bikes with an emphasis on eco-friendliness. For example, he gets 60% of the energy for his vehicles from solar panels. In addition, when it's necessary to bend a part, he uses a system of levers instead of a machine. Among the master's creations are pedal-powered models, as well as solar-powered versions. A single project takes from four weeks to four months of work, and the craftsman has already created enough bikes to open at the Evolution of Steel exhibit. No one ever crosses the street to look at a Prius, so why can't environmentalism be relaxed and luxurious, he said in an interview. This craftsman decided to do things in a big way and assembled a bicycle that weighs more than 4,850 pounds. In my spare time, I build strange cars and bicycles, he said honestly. Despite its ridiculousness, the design with the modest name Little Johanna is quite functional. The creator managed to accelerate it up to 11.2 miles per hour. He needed to add 35 front and 7 rear gears to be able to control the bike. In the current version, you can move little Johanna by pedaling with one hand. For greater stability, the inventor added a third wheel. 
Curiously enough, the first test drive, according to him, took place without necessary brakes. We only have one question. What happens if this bike goes downhill? What would the child of a bicycle and a skateboard look like? It might well look like this. Meet an engineering marvel called Skatebike. It combines the perks of one bicycle wheel and a pair of skate wheels. Curiously enough, these bikes date back several decades. Back in the 80s and 90s, they were very popular among young people, and they came with a set of brightly colored stickers. In the classic version, the design resembles a child's tricycle turned backwards and deprived of a steering wheel. You control it by balancing your body. However, the SQRL series, introduced in 2007, came with a special handle. It's not only made riding more comfortable, but also made it easier to perform some tricks like a wheelie. And in 2015, they released the kid-friendly QUAX version, suitable for both balance training and normal rides. The QUAX weighs only 16.7 pounds and holds up to 132 pounds. What do Adelaide, Detroit, and Berlin have in common? The answer is these bikes. They're used for parties, as mobile bars and pubs, and for tourist rides. It's believed that this means of transportation was invented in 1997 in the Netherlands. These bikes are designed to look like old streetcars, but they're often equipped with electric motors. Capacity varies widely, and some models hold up to 19 passengers, plus the driver and bartenders. In many countries and cities, there are various legal restrictions, in which bars on wheels don't always fit. For example, due to noise and traffic problems, these bikes have been banned in downtown Amsterdam since late 2017. But in Detroit in 2016, to the delight of the residents, the authorities allowed people to drink alcohol while riding these pedal pubs. The coolest electric bike ever made. The authors of the CHOP E project are convinced. They offer not only a stylish design, but also a cool riding experience. So much so that the demo video gives only a slight hint of what you'll get. The specs are as follows. A 1 kilowatt engine and a 20 amp hour battery, acceleration to about 20 miles per hour, and 35 miles on a single charge. The Choppy weighs 140 pounds, which isn't surprising, at least because it has an 18-inch disc with a motorcycle tire in the back. But the authors were sure this is not a cheap copy, but a real product. Unfortunately, this story doesn't have a happy ending. Having failed to raise money on Kickstarter, it also received negative reviews in terms of safety, and as of 2020, it had fallen into oblivion. Many viewers have already seen a video about an unusual bicycle with a rear wheel cut in two halves. The inventor, known as the Q, used a PVC pipe instead of an inner tube, and also lengthened the frame and improved the spokes. Other tinkerers are building similar homemade bikes. On the screen is a version from India. The Indian Lucky Experiment channel is devoted to all sorts of fun experiments, and for this one, they use the Hero Cycle Sprint Dominator bike. The model weighs about 44 pounds, so with all these upgrades, the rider will have to be pretty sweet if the trip is long. The designer decided not to improve the brakes or the rear wheels, so even on a level road, you can get a sensitive impact on your bottom. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.